Hey guys, welcome back. This is a quick one um, for any new inflatable boat anglers. Um, these are some common mistakes that not only I've made, but I think a lot of other people have made along their journey with sibs. Number one mistake, not putting up your transom wheels when you set off. Very common problem. <laughs> You might be heading off and wondering what is going on? Why is my engine not working as I expect? Yep, transom wheels are still down, causing a ridiculous amount of drag. So yeah, tip number one, get these transom wheels up as soon as it's safe to do so. Tip number two, this is especially important for solo boaters. And the tip is, keep your VHF radio attached to yourself. If you fall overboard and your VHF radio is on your boat, it's no good to you. If your boat's drifting away, you're drifting away, you need your radio attached to you at all times. So I put my one on my life vest like that. Tip number three, always attach chain to your anchor first. A lot of people make the mistake of tying rope to their anchor. You need a length of chain first, about three meters, perhaps two or three meters. Attach the chain to your anchor and then attach the rope to the chain. The anchor won't work properly if you don't have chain attached. So tip number four, make sure the valve on your fuel tank is open before you set off. I've done this one myself. Forget to open the valve, your engine, your engine starts to struggle and you can't figure it out. Make sure that valve here is in the open position before you head out. Tip number five is when you're in shallow water, you might be tempted to jump out and pull the boat in or whatever. Don't jump out unless you are completely sure you know what the bottom is. Only get out if it's shingle or rock or hard sand. I've done it myself actually, coming back in at pretty low tide and I thought, yeah, shallow enough to jump out. Popped over the side and it was real thick mud and I went up to my knees in thick mud and I managed to drag myself back on. So don't jump out unless you are completely sure you know what the seabed is like. So that's it guys. Five tips for beginner sib owners. Hope they help you. Good luck out there. Cheers guys.